hi guys welcome to this channel and thanks for viewing this video and please don't forget to like this video and also to subscribe to this channel so today let's quickly talk about packages in java so we will not only talk about packages but we will also talk about classes and methods and see how these three elements are related with each other so let me start by giving you a definition of what a package is. So by definition, a package is a collection of interrelated classes. It is also defined as a, a collection of libraries or in simple terms, a package is similar to a folder in a file directory. For example, on your computer, you can have a folder and inside that folder, you can have multiple files in it. So like the package here will be like that folder and the files in it will be the multiple classes that are contained in that package. So how useful is a package in Java? So based on the definition, we can understand that a package is used to group interrelated classes. So classes that have uh, related purposes, for example. And it also, we can also say that we use packages in Java because it helps in avoiding to use name conflict. Sometimes in the na names of your classes, um, they can be uh, confusing because you may be using uh, the very same names for different classes, for example. So one of the way to avoid that is to have packages in which you're going to store your classes and you will be able to name them uh, the way you want to name them. And also packages become useful when we want to write clean and maintainable code. So it's a practice used by so many programmers. Um, they use packages when they want to write very nice codes, codes that are easily readable and also easily maintainable. So there are two types of packages. So we have the predefined packages. That means that they are built-in packages from the Java API. So these are packages that are pre-written by the Java programming language. So as a programmer, you do not need to create them or to you know, write uh, any code in order to get these packages. All you can do is just import them and then use them whenever you need them in your code. So an example of uh, that package is um, the package we used when we were dealing with input statements. We made an import of a certain package that we called java that util that scanner okay i will come back on this statement later on and explain it so this is the predefined packages the developer does not need to build it or create it because it is built in uh, from the Java API. And all you have to do is to import and then use it, use the various classes in that package and then the various methods that belong to the class that you want to use. And the other type of packages we have is what is called the user-defined packages. So the user-defined packages are the packages that are actually created by the programmer himself because he want to create a package where he will group all the classes that he want to group uh, inside. So before showing you how you can uh, import, you can use the import statement to call for a package or a class. Let me define what a class is and also what a method is. So as we said that a package is made up, is used to group classes. So what is a class? So a Java class is defined as a unit of a Java program. So basically 
a class is the essential element you need in order to create a Java program. It is also important to keep in mind that a Java program needs to be made up of at least one class, and that class needs to contain the main method. So the main method is used when executing your Java program. So without it, you cannot be able to execute or to run your program. So as you can see on the screen here, this is what is called by the main method, the public static void main. So this is like the entry point of your program. And um, one thing we also need to keep in mind concerning the class is that a class will also allow you to create your own objects that will serve as data types. And I think later on in the series, we're going to see how to create an object using um, a class. And most importantly, a Java class is also used to group methods that are related with each other. So as you can see, the relationship here is that a package is made up of classes and a class is made up of methods. So now what is a method? A method, simply put, a method is an operation that you want to perform in your program. Or we can also say that a method can be defined as a set of instructions that are designed to accomplish a specific task. So you want your program to perform a certain mathematical operation or you use it to input some data into your system. You will need, you will basically need a, a method or you want to output some information on the screen. You will basically need a method for that. So that is what a method is a set of instructions designed to accomplish a specific task. So there are also two types of methods. The first one is a predefined method. For example, the when we were doing the when we do the system that out that print line. Okay, so this print line, as we could see when we, we did the video on uh we did a video on uh, output statements we could see that the print line here is a method and that method is predefined because we didn't create it anywhere but it's already built in our java application so this is a predefined method we can have the the print um method when we did the video on uh, input statement, we saw the next int method, the next double method. So there are also other mathematical methods that we can use in Java programming language. And all these methods are predefined methods. Apart from the predefined methods, there are also what is called the user defined method. So as uh, the name suggests, it means that these methods are actually created by a programmer. For example, a programmer can decide that he want to create a method where he will just output the value stored in a certain variable, for example. So he will write an algorithm and then code it and um, as a method and use it in his code and be able to output um, the information as he intended. So the user-defined methods are written by the programmer. They are defined by the programmer. And most of the times, these are the methods that as a programmer, you'll be always writing in your code because you want your code, you want your program to perform a very specific task uh, for you. So that's actually it. So now let me show you how you can import a package in your program. So we will take the example of uh, our input statement. So we will do a static that uh, scanner and we will call this input, okay, new scanner system that in and we do the semicolon. 
here. So when we do that, for example, if I remove this, we will see that we will have an error because this scanner is a class as we saw in our video on uh, input statements. So this class is contained is inside a very specific Java package. So in order to be able to use that class, we need to have that package. We need to import that package inside our program. Now we have not imported yet. So how we can import that, we can either come and put our cursor on this uh, class and then down here we have import scanner and then click on import scanner here. And when we click on it, now we have on top of our code here, we have import Java util scanner. So that's actually how we can import that. Or one other way is if I remove this one, we can directly type it. For example, if we know that this scanner class, uh, this class scanner belongs to, we know the type of the kind of uh, the name of the package to which this class belongs to, we can directly write type the code here by typing import and then the name of the package that will be Java that util that's the name of the package and then since here we want to just uh, call for this specific class out of that package we can say that the name of the class like this so here what we have done is that we have imported a specific class out of this java package java.util okay so as i've shown you here that now it's now impossible to import a class directly from um, from a package and it also possible to import the whole package to our program so so just like i mentioned a package is made up of classes so this means that you can import a whole package to your program or you can just import a single class from that package. So here, that's how you import a class in your program. So you do import and then uh, you do the name of the package that the name of the class you want to import. And if you want to import the whole package, that means that a package and all of the classes inside that package, all you have to do is write import. So import here, the name of the package here is java.util and then you put a star sign here. Uh, so we come here, what we do star like this. So here, this star means that we are importing all the classes inside uh, that java.util package. So we are importing the whole package with all the classes inside. So this is actually how you can import a Java package. So as I shown you, you can directly type it. And uh, as I mind you, the, the, this importation of the package and that code needs to be written at the top of your code here. It will always appear at the top of your code. So that was actually it. Now, so this is this was the example of the predefined uh, packages, how you import a predefined package. Now let me show you how you can import a user-defined package. So how you can create um, a package on your own because user defined package is what you, a user can create, uh, a programmer can create on his own. What you have to do is to come to file here, click on new, uh, sorry, file new. And then down here you have package. When you click on package, you can choose the source folder so the source folder here is 
the folder, your project folder. After you've chosen it correctly, down here, you have to write the name you want to give to your package. I will call my package, uh, I will say my package. So my package. And after that, I can click on finish. So when you click on finish, so now down here you have my package. So that means that next time, if you want to create a class, you can decide whether you will uh, include that class inside this package or inside the default package. So let me create a class here. If I click on file, I click on new, uh, sorry, file, new, and I click on class. And uh, so here, as you can see, this is the source folder, my project folder. This is the package. So if I don't put anything inside, that means that my package is going to be the default one. But if I want to choose a specific package, if uh, the one I created here is my package, I can click on that and click OK. And then down here, I will write the name of my class. So I will say uh, my uh, test class and then click on finish. So now when I click on finish, as you can see, my class, my test class Java is now included inside the package I created. So if I close it here, unfold it, now you see that that class is inside that package. So that was it concerning uh, the package in Java, how you can import that, and how you, you can also create a class and then include that class inside the package you created instead of uh, putting it in a default package. So I hope this video was informative uh, for you and uh, don't forget to support this channel by liking this video and also by subscribing. So let's meet in the next video. Bye.